Last year, the City of Portland began a program in cooperation with local restaurants to post calorie counts on their menus. Recently, the City surveyed diners at participating restaurants to find out whether or not the information was useful to them. Leslie McVeigh talked with public health evaluator Toho Soma about the results of the study. Well, Toho, the holidays are here, and one of the first things people think about during the holidays is food, lots of food, and right. oh my goodness, I've got to work out after or before, but not during. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, sure. Healthy Portland, Portland, Healthy Maine Partnership, mm -hmm. um, did, a, did a project, a survey, yes. and tell us a little bit about what you did and what you found. Sure. So, uh, about two and a half years ago, uh, the Healthy Portland Healthy Maine Partnership, which is part of the city's public health division, was fortunate enough to receive some federal stimulus funding uh, to pursue a project called Communities Prudding Prevention to Work. And it was an overall uh, obesity prevention uh, effort. And as part of that effort, we developed a program called Smart Meals for Me. And what that entailed was uh, we hired a registered dietitian and we sought out local restaurants that wanted to have their menus uh, analyzed for calorie content and other nutritional information, and then give them a small stipend so that they could redo their menus and signage uh, to list the calorie contents of their menu items. And so that was implemented, like I said, about two years ago. And over the summer, in August and September, we did a survey of seven of those restaurants to see uh, how patrons uh, liked it, whether it affected what they had chosen, mm -hmm. and just kind of overall impressions about menu labeling in general. And the result was that people really do want to know how many calories in, a, in the and food And what they're, they're eating, buying. exactly. Yeah. Right. Uh, our survey results showed that about three in four uh, customers that we surveyed, and we surveyed about 370 mm -hmm. customers, said that they overall want to see uh, calorie contents listed on all restaurant menu items, not just the ones that the at the restaurants they went to. They mm -hmm. just think overall but, it's a great idea. But everywhere, everywhere, yeah. right? And you know it kind of supports previous research. You know they've done national research where they ask people to estimate the calorie counts of certain restaurant items, and about ninety percent of them underestimate the number of calories that mm -hmm. are in these restaurant items by about 600 calories. So that's a lot of extra calories that's that you're a forgetting lot. about. <laughs> and of course that'll add up yeah. every time you go out. And especially with Portland being such a great foodie city yeah. with a lot of independent restaurants and you know, uh, well, there's and a lot of options. Well, we are like a number one small food right. city in the exactly. country. But we're also listed as among the highest of obesity mm -hmm. in, in citizens. Right. And so those two things together make us realize we are missing a lot of those calories in there somehow. Exactly. And how can we get on top of this? And this is one way. This is one way. And you know, another great aspect of Portland's food scene is that we have a lot of independently owned uh, restaurants, mm -hmm. not a whole lot of chains. And as part of the, as part of the Federal Affordable Care Act, there's a mandate coming up in the next few years where all chain restaurants have to list the calorie content of their menu items. So that is already kind of, the balls are rolling with that. Right. But there hasn't really been done, no, there hasn't really uh, any momentum around independently owned restaurants. Mm -hmm. So this is one way we want to offer that service to them. I think it's wonderful. I, th there was just a listing in the paper recently mm -hmm. um, sh showing calories at, at a couple of different places. Mm -hmm. And there were some things that I would order and I'm like, there were that many calories mm -hmm. in it? I had no idea. I mean, it was exactly. just egg and, and bread. I mean, right. you know, what, well, how many calories could be, there be in that? Right. But I certainly, if I had seen that in a restaurant, I would think, well, maybe that's not what I want right now. Right. You know, I'm watching calories. I'm watching my weight. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll try something else. Let's exactly. see what has a little lower calorie content, right. but is still nutritious and good and will fill me up. Exactly. Yeah. And so, you know, we, in fact, saw some of those results uh, specifically by gender, we found that one in two women uh, who had seen the calorie contents listed uh, decided uh, to change what they had ordered. And whether mm -hmm. that means they had ordered something with fewer calories, or maybe they chose not to have an appetizer or dessert. Exactly. exactly. But it gives them that the option exactly. and the knowledge to make the choice. Exactly. If people want to know more about this, if restaurants want to get find out how they can become involved, mm -hmm. 
how can they get in touch sure, with Sure, probably you? the easiest is to go to our website, mm -hmm. which is publichealth.portlandmaine, mm -hmm. all one word, mm -hmm. .gov, mm -hmm. and they can get to our homepage and then find out more information about not only Smart Meals, but about all our public health programs. And there are a lot of them. There are. <laughs> Thank you, Toho, for being here again. Thanks for having me. Yeah.